Hi everyone and welcome to our second SAC release video of this year. My name is Kas Kriel and I'm a Flexo Sub BI consultant. And my name is Geoffrey Baker and I'm also a Sub BI consultant. Uh, and in this slide, we are showing you a short overview on the three main topics of today, um, with the biggest one, the unified story. Um, and the other two are more like added on top of the unified story or the last administration and security is more some tips and tricks or what you have to watch out for this release. So we start with the unified story uh, and a little bit of a business scenario so you can relate to why this might be important for you. So the unified story, uh, most of you know you had to choose between a story or an analytical application. Uh, within short, like the story is the easy to use, easy to maintain yourself um and discovers like the core of the business like most businesses need uh, and the analytical application is if you really want to go custom uh, but the problem is that more developers are needed and it takes a bit longer to create but the unified story actually brings these two together so now we can start from an existing story uh, and we can convert it to the optimized view uh, and this is now called the unified story because these two design environments come together and we keep all the important parts of our story experience, like the self-service, that it's quick uh, and that we have the core and add a little bit of customization possibilities on top as well. And Cost is going to show it in the demo uh, where we start from uh, an existing story that we converted uh, and we added a little bit more to it. Yes, so, okay, so let's start in the story panel. Um, so the first thing we can notice here is that uh, there are two more panels added to the um, stories overview. So first we have our benchmark, uh, our bookmarks, I'm sorry. And we also have the custom widgets. Um, and another improvement SAP has made is that the custom widget, widgets can now be hosted onto the cloud platform of SAC. So let's navigate to the story that we've prepared. So first of all, here we can see just a standard story um, and what the problem was. So the use case um, of this demo is that uh, the business wants a chart, but also a table available in one page uh, because the table is too big in order to fit another chart below or to the right. Um, we have to scroll down in order to see this chart. So what can the unified story do for us here? We can add um, scripting capabilities in order to switch in between the table view or the chart view. So what we did is add a small toggle. This is just a simple button, but it makes life so much easier <laughs> as, a, as an end user. Um, but what it does is when it's switched off, it shows a table and it, when it's switched on, it shows a chart. And maybe can you show the user how difficult it was to implement this super important button? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what we do, we switch uh, to the edit mode. And from people, uh, for people who, who have worked with the analytical application before, uh, will recognize in the first in first instance, this small toggle here. So we have the advanced mode. Uh, so let's toggle this on. And when opening the left side panel, we will now see all assets that are available to add to our story. So this is just drag and drop. But more things are available than just uh, the ones that are on top, which you will recognize uh, for, from the more standard functionalities of SOC. Um, but you can also add custom widgets, uh, other planning actions, et cetera, et cetera. But when we toggle the outline panel here, we can now see that in the first, no, I mean the second page here, we have our small toggle here. So when clicking the toggle, it will highlight right here. So a very generic name, I'm sorry for that. But there's also an FX logo on the right. Um, when clicking the FX logo, we will go into the backend of our uh, story widget. And here we can define custom script. So this is just 
very easy but important uh, JavaScript where we can say if the switch is toggled on, we show it. If it's toggled off, we don't show it. Yeah. So I hope this helps you. Yeah. And now we added the functionality. Are there extra options for styling? Because this is also important for the business in this unified story. Yes. Yeah, so in this release, uh, SAP did an update of um, yeah, preferences or teams you can predefine. Um, so, for example, they have a light team default or a dark team, which is already defined by SAP, but you can edit them as well. And now on the left hand side, we have all elements available uh, for editing. So, for example, the drop down boxes, we can select the border color, background color, everything you like. Um, so these are all the options that are also available in the old styling panel. And you can also see a preview on the right. So it's just a bit easier, just a bit cleaner. Yes. And if this would not be enough for you, you can also add CSS script uh, onto the elements. So this is, again, something that was already available in the analytical application designer. But now it's also available in the unified story. Uh, maybe a last thing to yeah. mention here uh, is also the filter panel that you can add uh, to your left panel, a left um, designer panel, or and this is also available in view mode. So um, you can do this as you like. This is just a preference thing. Uh, you can like it on the side, like Custis, or and I stick to the old basic way on top. Um, but I have one more question. Um, what if we want to gather more insights uh, from these charts? Is that still possible like we did before with Data Explorer? Um, the Data Explorer, in the end, I think will be deprecated. But for now, in the, U, in the new optimized view, which is integrated into the unified story, uh, you can, so for example, when switching back to the chart, you can do a right click onto your visualization. And here we can see Open Data Analyzer. And you have two options in the current tab or in a new tab. And this will navigate directly into the data analyzer with your filters that were applied in your story and, of course, the data source. Uh, so this way, you can gather more insights into your data. OK, just in another environment. Yes. Uh, but in an environment that you might have, uh, you're already familiar with, because we made uh, in a previous video already uh, a little guide or the functionality, so we don't dive into this deeper. Yes, uh, indeed. So you can also find it still on the same page you found this video on the SAC releases. Indeed. OK. I think we've covered all uh, the... uh, For the standard license, we yes. have. Uh, but now I'm going to show you a little demo for if you have the planning uh, license as well. Um, so there is you now the possibility to lock your data from within the story. Uh, so a lot of customers already use buttons to copy data from one version to another, make a little bit of a change. But now they made it also possible to lock your data. And now first you, uh, you saw this was not locked. And now this is locked like all the other per periods. Just a simple button, we also have the button to open it. But this is a multi-action. We made it very easy in this demo just to show you this, but we, you can also incorporate and incorporate it in an entire step. So this you, uh, happens automatically after copying data to a version, so they cannot change it anymore. Uh, mm. A small thing, but very important for some customers to have this in one step. Okay. Now, for the other planning functionality, we have to go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so another thing SAP added is a new REST API. Uh, just this is for importing fact and master data. Um, so the first functionality here is authorization. So we have two leg -like and three leg -like authorization support available. Um, and the main purpose of this API is um, the av availability of using uh, custom connection managers or load managers from external applications. So this will increase the amount of integration options uh, to gather data from external applications into our SAP Analytics Cloud um, models. So uh, the 
the API has three endpoints. So you can import fact data or master data or both uh, at once into your preferred model. This is just a feature that might be handy for uh, customers who rely on APIs uh, to, get, uh, to import this data. Yes. Uh, well, this is now available if you want to import. Now the last part, administration and security. Um, so again, these are just some things you have to uh, consider in this release. Um, and the first one is user management. And there is now a handy overview. Uh, I think it's called system monitor, uh, system overview. Yeah. Uh, it can be found in the security tab. And you, you, as you can see on top, there are a lot of statistical possibilities like performance or uh, what content is being used. But uh, for this feature, we are going to zoom in on license consumption to the left. Uh, this way you can easily track how many licenses are used uh, and from what type, uh, from which type. And you can also, as an admin, deactivate and reactivate users very easily. Yeah, so, so this is a very important improvement as a P made. So before we had to delete users in order to free licenses. But right now, uh, when checking your user uh, here on the left, you now have the option to deactivate your user. Uh, when deactivating, you will also get a pop-up message. Uh, and the message says that the licenses will be freed, and you're now able to assign them to other users. And you also have the option to email uh, the user that will be deactivated. But what's very important is that SAC remembers the teams uh, where this uh, this user belongs to, but also the stories that he he has made. And once reactivating the user again, uh, this will all be available for the user as well. Okay, sounds good. Now for the last two, um, I think the content network is important uh, because this will be the file system. Some companies still use. Uh, and you might as well, is where you download a file if you want to export uh, content from one uh, tenant to the other. Um, and But this is not possible anymore. So the file system you cannot use uh, after Q2, the, the Q2 release. Uh, instead, we will need to work via the content network. This was already possible, but now you're forced to use this. And instead of downloading, you are actually going to share your content between tenants. Um, this makes them maybe a little bit safer, easier. Um, and you can also choose what the other tenants can do with this uh, import. For example, can they reshare it with other uh, tenants or not? Uh, so your local PC will thank SAC. <laughs> no more uh, rogue files. Uh, no, yeah. indeed. OK, and the last one is the planning artifacts. Um, they also get their dedicated space in the file repository now. So next to your stories um, and the other things all already available there. And the biggest um, and the most important part is not only the location, but this has some uh, consequences for your stories itself. Because if the user uh, does not have access to the map where this specific data uh, action or multi-action is located, they cannot use it in that story as well. Uh, so this was it for this release. If you want more information, you can always find it on our specific page or our website uh, or contact, contact us directly. Yeah, also stay tuned for August because we will be back with another SAC release video uh, of the third quarter of this year. So hope to see you there. Bye. Bye.